Also, it's going behind the camera. No, not the red button. Hello, this is Sharka, and welcome back to Extra Bites and our continuing playthrough of Monkey Island Secret of for the Commodore Amiga. Now, last time we did quite a lot of uh, insult sword fighting to build our vocabulary. Uh, could you hurry up as of now? Well, just never mind that. Go away. Shh, shh, what are your name is? Shopkeeper. But yes, uh, we did a lot of uh, basic grinding for insults and uh, counter insults. So we are, we are ready to take on the Sword Master of uh, Many Island now. We know we can ask the storekeeper, and he, he knows where she is. But um, if we wait for him to come back, then he just says, oh, she'll tell you to go away. But I think we need to follow him and make sure. So, let's uh, speak to him again. What do you want? I'm, I'm looking for the sword master of Mid Island again. Mid Island TM. Look, I tell you, she doesn't want to see you. Maybe she asked her again. I guess I could hike all over there again, over there, all the way over there again. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Right. So let's uh, let's see. If, ah, oh, he's gone that way. Oh, yeah. So let's. Uh, one of that old man. That's some music for a change. Music, music of sneakery. Right, let's uh, be careful not to tip him off. Don't approach too close. Oh yeah. Oh. Go on if we uh Oh no, there we go, so it's still keep out. So yeah, here we go. Aha, so So yeah, it's lessons progress now because we know where to go. Yep, let's, uh, that we didn't lose him then. Aha. Warn out the danger, open ravine. Uh, some spinning around there in place. I better stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on business. This kid came into my store, see? Face it, you crissy old lech. You make any excuse not to come, just to come out here and bother me. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come back out here again. So I might follow you and I'd become another Melly Island TM tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Scram. Welp. Yeah, dance, 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 dance. Looks like you're spinning and dancing around. It's a curious, like, why they decided to animate her quite like that when she's not, like, uh... How dare you approach the Sun Master without permission? Wish I surely do you didn't give you. Um, um... Uh... Hi, I'm... I know, it's Wesley Bold. 
My name is Guybrush Streetwood. I've come to kill you. No, nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Ah. Let's get this over with. No, I know. No, I know what filth and stupidity really are. Now, this this is this takes a bit of you need to be of interpretive work here because you won't say the. Uh, you might think, well, she'll say the ones we've already gained, gained answers for, but no, they throw a little curveball to you. You need to interpret um, what she said and match, um, match, but make a bet, a, a best judgment. Um, could you? Yes, we saw it again. Could you? Could you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. I I said now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Ah, uh, so we could say um, I wanted you to make sure you're comfortable with me. I I wanted to make sure you feel comfortable with me. Oh, that was a uh, wrong answer then. Oh, the bit of my filth like it matched. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Um, let's see then, something that matches. Ah, oh, so yeah, uh, even before first year. Ah, oh, so you got a job as a janitor, yeah. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Oh no. I felt it like it uh, worked. Only once have I met such a coward. Oh, he must have told you everything you know. Yeah. He must have told you everything you know. Aha! Now we've fought back. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Ah, th I think this is the one... It's a tip one, I think, yeah. Oh, maybe the feather duster one. First you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. Yes, yes, we're advancing now. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Ah, this is the one about picking your nose then. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. <laughs> My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. I, I, I think that's um, even before they smell your breath, I think, perhaps. My name is known in every dirty corner of this My name is known in every dirty corner of this island. We wear the janitor one, so... No, I, I think it's... Even before they smell your breath. Oh no. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Uh, that's how appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh, no. You're a pain in the backside, sir. Now we know this is the hemorrhoids one. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? What a... What a... What a... Uh, I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Now this is the um, how uh, I think this is the one. This, this is the um, how appropriate you fight like a cow, because milk. How appropriate you fight like a cow. Aha. Oh, okay, you win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to your friends about how you beat the swordmaster. You'll need proof. So yeah, this should convince them. 100% cotton t-shirt. Let's have a look. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Way we did. We did. So one one of our one quest is done. 
We've beat the sole master of my island. Can we, uh, can we leave the way they uh, those did? No, we got to walk back the other way. So yeah, all we got left now is stealing the idol of many hands from the governor's mansion and uh, finding the treasure. We got a shovel. We got some. We think of what we've got now. We got some like uh, stubs. Wait. Oh no, we we got to do you so goodbye. So good day. A nice night is it? Nice night we're having, isn't it? Don't bother you. I'll be on my way. Let's let's try, let's go back to the um the village. Let's see, and then we'll try and because we know we got we, we know we got some, um, some some uh, petals, and we can drug something. So yeah, uh, there are, there are things we need to uh, find a way around, and like yes, putting them to sleep would be a very good idea. I wait, I think. What if we use the. Yellow petal with stewed meat. Meat with condiment. It's also a meat or meat like substance. Yeah, uh, I don't th I don't think we can I don't think we can like eat it ourselves or can we do it? Oh. No, 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 can't use meat condiment with guy brush, so yeah. Let us walk to. Deadly Piranha Poodles. So here we go. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's give this meat with condiment to the Piranha Poodles. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are sleeping. No animals will harm during the production of this game. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I think you need to do like, you know, that's like a like, like cartoonish gag a bit, like, dr pr like drugging someone with like things, like, yeah, putting to sleep with uh, their hippie gag. So, yeah, we're sneaking to the man mansion now, so, ooh. Yeah, this is, this is, this is one, um, a priceless Ming. This is another, like, in, like uh, famous scene from Monkey Island. I don't recognise the man. That looks like the dog in the bar. Ooh. That could be a, a clue, I feel. Look at books. No time for reading now. Let's see then. Oh. Uh, can we go here? Oh, this door appears to be locked. Ooh, there we go. This looks like a job for Festa Shine Top. <gasps> the sheriff is here. Ooh. Oh, hypnotize a quarrelsome rhinoceros. Amazing puzzles going behind the camera. No, not the red button. Look at tremendous yak. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Can't move it. Can't move the tremendous yak. Oh. Well. Manual of style. 
I must be nuts. Ah, gophers. Uh oh, go for, go for horde coming towards us. Oh, he has literally a horde. Not that funny little man, poor thing. A fabulous idol, it's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. Oh, it's fucked the, uh, oh dear. That should hold him for a while. If I had a file, I could get the idol. Oh. Hmm. So, right. We need to get a file. We've, we've seen no file to get. But we do have some gopher repellent. And we've asked... Right, yeah. Say gophers won't come near it. Now we know we know someone who needs some uh, repellent to help with rats. So I wonder if uh, gopher repellent will work as well. Again, this is one of those things we need to like uh, kind of know popular culture stuff to, to know what to do here. So if we give go for a pen to prisoner. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's a cake. Oh yeah, because they promised cake. Oh, yeah, so let's have a look at the uh, uh and as as you might uh, yes, as a as a popular culture thing here is uh yes, if we uh open the cake like we peek peek inside the cake, there's a file in it, so yeah. Poor Otis, he could have just, if he just, if it wasn't carrot cake and he didn't like carrot cake and then he could have just filed his way out, but no. We, we could have filed off, we could have like filed his, filed his doorway there, but I guess there's not much time we need to go to the, get the, uh, before the was it, um, get breaks through the sheriff. So yeah, in we go. Oh, we can go. I've got the file. Oh, use manual style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to a heavily armed clown. Why? Why is behind? We? Why is behind these walls? What? What amazing things? Don't throw the wax lips in the fire. Oh. Hooray! We've got the idol. Let's get out of here. Oh, 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 ow. Phew. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. I'm not done with you yet. Uh oh. Thought you'd get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Uh, look, I can explain. Uh, so can I. You poisoned them, given us pet poodles. They're, they're just sleeping. You broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. Now you got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It, 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 it belongs in a museum. Ha! Huh. What's going on here? I caught this huddle and we can make off your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. No, that's right, it does. What? what? You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did you get here while you were on guard? I, uh, let's just go away, Fester. 
I can handle this. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Selene, Governor L. Marley. So, my idol belongs in, belongs in a museum, eh? Well, uh, uh, gosh. Relax, Mr. Freepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although, I have to admit, not many of get as far as you have. Uh, um, uh, golly. My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a, be a pirate? You, you don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Ah, uh, I see. You're well, obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you got more, many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more, more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Ah, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Oh, so we got the. Uh, the fabulous idol, poor old kid. No. Right. Uh. Well, we've, we've got, not only have we uh, bested the swordmaster, we've also. Uh oh, oh. Where do you think you're going, three wink? Uh. Up to the buzz off, Festa. Huh, I think you need to call off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. What's this is the end for you at the road, my pan little pantaloon pal. Your trouble making days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too more important and much too near completion to risk letting a would be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Fake, Spice Cake, or Droop Face, or Tivian Aries. <laughs> this might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Now, as we know, Guy Bush's uh, special skill is that he can hold his breath for 10 minutes. And this is the only place where you can die in the game. If you sit here and wait the 10 minutes, you will drown. Uh, it's the only place, the only way you can drown. It's kind of like just more like an Easter egg, though, because um, a bit of context, most of the most of the uh, other adventure games of the time, point and clickers or in just past games, were Sierra ones, and they were notorious for dead ends and basically walking death, letting you carry on knowing you like in, in a no win state because you didn't pick something up you couldn't return to it lucas arts games were the the opposite of that there is no death there is no no win state um nothing like that you can it was like such a breath of fresh air to many people we used to the sierra and stuff like that, and zork and infocom text adventures and stuff like that but this is it's this is the only place you can actually die it's more it's more of an easter egg though because the, the yeah, it's pretty clear. So we got um, a deadly meekly. We reach that sharp and dangerous. So we, so we, I can't reach that here. Razor sharp scissors. Can we pick those up? No, we can't reach that there. We're hacksaw. Right. What about this sharp looking sword? Oh no, it's sharp. We gotta be careful. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve that big knife you got there? Huh. Yeah. What should I do with it? Get rid of it. I'd throw it down here. Throw it down here. I'll throw it in the water. Yes, please. Throw it to me. Now, don't do that. Now, just do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. Now, please. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? 
My prince won't be on it. My, I am throwing it in. Yes, please. No. Nah, I might need it. No, throw it to us. See ya. See you. Away they go. Um, the solution is like this is this is like one of those things where people used to uh, ring up a bit as well. Um, uh, to the tips line, but it's this here because it's not. Yeah, what we need to do is you pick up the idol, and that's it. And that's we. Yep, and then <laughs> it's a bit like your pockets. Our inventory is like massive, so yeah. And up we go. Well, that wasn't so hard. All I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive. Governor. Hey, you can talk. Who would have, who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish your job. No, I came here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. You came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't, didn't think you'd like me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seem to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter, a nobody, a would-be pirate. Who, who could have even known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have Guybrush. Oh, oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here. Not where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just not. It's just that many of my, these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them my father made me a promise never to fall in love with a pirate. But well, we're not a pirate yet, so it's fine. But yes, if they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. No, what? I don't want really to be preoccupied. But I, I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. Oh, what a, what a sweet little scene and a, a sweet musical interlude. Music of love, yes. So yeah, that's uh, one more trial to go. We've uh, fallen in love as well, as well as defeated the Swordmaster and uh, everything else there, so yes. And got the idol, so yes. Next time, we'll go and try and find the treasure and then that's it. We'll be a pirate. It's time for the end of our episode, so thank you for watching, and until the next one, this is Coffee Hand Retro Talker saying have a good day, stay cool, and signing off. <laughs>